y'all this is not the end crochet how's everyone doing hope to they find you're doing just splendid okay I'm gonna show you what I've been doing what I've been working on since my last current whip video which was I don't remember when if you hear somebody else talking in the background that's my nephew he's fussing at his laptop so and if you hear bells and somebody go meow that's me I'm kidding okay where will we start I believe I showed everyone the cow I was doing for my nephew this is how it turned out it turned out a little bigger than I thought it was going to going to um there's my seam right here and it made a slight V which he's okay with but that's his latest towel he likes it I wasn't happy with the camouflage yarn it was really thin and it didn't work with predominantly hardly any of my hooks because I tried several even tried them what was that thing did I try I tried a, a rosewood it wouldn't work for good and I thought everything worked with the rosewood but um oops, can't hear let's see I think it's a hundred and twenty plus two Right here, I joined it. I did half double crochets in black for three rows, and I did 12 rows of half double crochets in camouflage, and then I ended it with three rows of black half double crochets. And the base chain was done in the back loops. So I got that finished for him. It didn't take me long. It took me like two or three days. Maybe less. I don't know. I didn't time it. But he likes it. And he said, you know, Auntie, that was pretty well made. And I said, well, thank you, baby. That's that one. I have a cousin. Well, I have several cousins. We, uh, my mother's side of the family is really huge. Um, crazy about him that cousin he's gonna take a big trip to Chicago and I said well you need something warm so I'm making him a hat and scarf combo and I finished the hat let me show it to you got it it won't get dirty I finished it like in a day and a half he wanted a scully and he wanted his initials on it kbs and this stitch is a stitch that i created myself i still got the main thread here because he hasn't tried it on yet and i might have to bring it down further uh i call this I was calling it, what was I calling it? I had a name for it. Yeah, slips now. Um, but I was calling this the almost waffle stitch. It doesn't go all the way to the top. It's just double crochets up here. But now that the bottom part is the almost waffle, and there's where it in increased. And on the bottom, you have your single crochets and you have three rows of them and uh, yeah it was kind of difficult but I had to figure it out how to put the initials on there because the holes go in the side but I figured it out and I used that technique before for uh, my birthstone blanket so it worked out pretty good he wants he wanted to know why the lettering was so far apart when I had to explain it to him I said we well, gotta be able to read it 
He said, well, I want them right next together. I said, well, that's not how it works. I said, it's got to have at least one stitch between it. So I don't know if we'll work that out or not. Since he ain't the one crocheting. I believe that's up to me. But anyway, that's a scully. Let me see. I got a man head to put it on so you can see what it's going to look like. I have a picture of a you know, man head just sitting right here, so I'm just going to put it on and show you. And no man mail, not, not yet, if you want to get up on my lap. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. So you can see it. And this is my very first scully. I've never done one of those before. But I think the yarn is really beautiful. It's red heart. And it got it right here, I think. Yep, it's Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo, and let's see, the color is soft white, so that's what I'm using for this combo. Now, I ran into a problem with the scarf part because the stitch I use for the hat is a little thin and I want him to be warm when he goes to Chicago so I'm creating a, a different stitch for that and he said that was okay you know as long as they both was the same color so I'm working on that what else I got here oh I finished my Finish my granite squirrels. When I was like converting my nephew's bed spread to a granite square afghan, and it came out to be well, it would have been 38, it would have been 38 squares, but I don't have enough yarn and I don't feel like buying anymore. I don't have enough yarn to join them together and bordered them so i'm just gonna join them together with what i got left and then i'm gonna border them in black i got plenty of black so that's that and i might do that in a not a crochet along and that's something else they call it a cow i remember that but it'll be more like a how-to you know show the different stages of how I put it all together uh, now that I got all the squirrels done the next thing to do is to go back and do the repairs and hide my ends I always do that before I join things together and I'm kind of thinking I might put beads on it somewhere but I ain't figured out where yet because I got every color of bead I got a charcoal gray, white, black, and I might have even a newspaper color. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. But uh, those are my current whips. Hope you like them. See, I do do more than buy yarn. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you don't subscribe, please give a like. Your feedback is very important to me. If you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever I upload something new. You all keep sweet. God bless. Hugs and peace out.